Yo, I think I'm live, man. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, I'm live. I, I, you guys can hear me? Oh, this is horrible, man. YouTube ain't working right, man. I'm trying to get Dean in here. Oh, uh, like, oh, it's horrible. I think they, I don't think we can use these hangouts. Yeah, I'm live. I, I, you guys oh, 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 they can't, oh, oh, they can't hear me. Oh, uh, hey, Dean, see if you can hop in here. I'm sorry. See if you can hop in here with me, Dean. It's the same link. See if you can hop in here with me. Just hit yellow. I'm sorry about this. Like I am. I am so sorry about this. Good ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because it's not letting me for whatever reason connect the bean and like this this is just bugging, man. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, man. Like I really, really don't, man. I want to um, you know have some gossip. You know, I mean it's not not for long, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, well, I got my man Dean with me. Like so we didn't get the chance to do beast fire. Um, let's see, let me see if he if he can be able if if he will be able to join me. I just sent him a message, um, and if he can, and you know, uh, we're gonna talk about the new uh, the rumored CPU uh, for the Xbox One S. Uh, I'm sorry for the Xbox Project Scorpio. Hope Microsoft doesn't change the name. Recore came out today, and I have yet I haven't got mine. I've been uh, my grandmother's in the hospital again, so. Uh, that's why I haven't had the chance to do anything. I went out. Uh, well, today's Tuesday. I went out Monday. I I got my television. Actually, I ended up buying two televisions. Got a crazy, crazy deal. I got a uh, a Nigerian deal. Uh, my wife is uh, she's pretty uh upset with me. I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping both of them, but you know what I mean. I think I may uh, because I bought a I got a JS. Um, let's say the 8500 upstairs, uh, the curb. Um, I have I have that upstairs, I have a JS upstairs. Um, and um, like I said, that TV is a, a year. Uh, I got that TV in, in 2016, I got that TV last year. Um, this year, you know, I got the 4K here behind me. I have another um Samsung in the living room. Uh, this behind me is a Sony. I, I believe it or not, though. I really, really, really like this television here behind me, but like I said in the day, it does not have uh, HDR. Uh, so I'm pretty mad about that. Uh, so this I end up buying uh, two sets. Got a crazy deal. Crazy, crazy deal. Uh, let me hit Dean, see if he's going to join me or not. If, if he can join me, going to call him right now. Let me go to the actual track. Did you guys hear me talking? Can you guys hear me? Oh, you guys can hear me. Yeah, yeah, you guys can hear me. Yeah. My grandmother fell and broke her hip, man. So, um, you know, like I said, my grandmother has, uh, what do you call it? Um, she got sick this year. Get a little, get, get a little what's going on with me. My grandmother got sick uh, this year. Um, and, well, I don't know how it, it is with other states or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, with things, seen the message. I don't, uh, my grandmother's lucid. Uh, if, you, if you don't know what that means, she's not, she still has all the faculties senses and stuff um you know so i you know like i said and you can't admit someone to the hospital against their will you can't do that you know what i mean and the way her uh we didn't know my grandmother was a school teacher or whatever um you know uh so she has great benefits great insurance but like i said she's she was in the hospital on and off for like uh the, the course of the whole summer uh and i think she had to be there seven days or six days or anyway you know when you're older the longer you lay down in the bed you lose muscle mass believe it or not you know what i mean so she had to be there another day uh to go to kessler kessler you know what i mean she, had, she got to a rehab facility and um you know then they take the kessler kessler you know started you know building her legs and stuff like that for her being in the hospital for like five days laying down like that's for an old person that's really really bad you know what i mean and you know eats away at their muscle mass and stuff uh, but anyway and also the way that her insurance is she will be able to get um you know like a home elk to come here give her a medicine and look at my grandma i didn't even know she was a diabetic wasn't taking a medicine it's crazy so right now what i'm paying out of pocket because she had stayed two more days i believe uh they were telling me the insurance um that i would i would have got it just about all that stuff the treatment and stuff all that stuff for free you know what i mean so that's costing me 1500 dollars a week out of pocket i, I, I paid mr rebecca 
fifteen hundred dollars a week to go out there. But then again, it's my grandma, it's all the family I got. So, you know, I mean, that's six grand a month, fifteen hundred dollars a week. I pay. You know, what I mean, hey Dean, was you able to get in here, Dean? Yeah, I'm here, man. And oh, wishing, okay, well, man, wish, Dean, wish, wish, wishing your grandma a, a help. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah recovery, man. Bro. You know, I mean, she put on uh, feeling a good for the James Brown today, man. You know, when you get older, your bones get brittle, man. Like, yeah. you, like I mean, think, man, you damn, you fall and break your head. Like, y'all, you, you fall off a building. Like, literally, yeah. no, nah, bro. When I lucky, like I said, lucky I was there. Uh, shit, bro, it was only off the step. That's it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it wasn't even that far. She went to step up. I don't know what the hell. My grandma says, probably, she doesn't be hiding. She doesn't, she hides everything. You know what I mean? So you know, I didn't. But like, she fell. Like I said, uh, when she then she peed on herself. So I knew it was bad. She, then it passed out. Like, oh shit! Oh man! Yeah, I mean, all that man. You know what I mean? And she was screaming. I'm like, oh lord! So I was in the hospital all day. But yeah, they, um, uh, uh, the special doctor ultimately you know, being the Mar. Make sure she had to get surgery. How they gonna just set it? You know what I mean? But you know, when you break your hip, they just set it. I don't think they don't put no body cast on you or nothing. But we said she ain't gonna get surgery or nothing. I find all that stuff tomorrow. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, but as I was saying, I was talking to you yesterday. Well, yeah, to speak to you yesterday. Um, I, you know, I went out and um, I bought the um, uh, my television. I'm gonna do a review on it. So I bought the KS8500 and I also picked up the KS9000. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, they're basically the same damn television. The KS8500 and the KS9000. You know what I mean? If you go to ratings.com and shut up my boy Dean, he put me on this. Normally, when I would buy a television, I would just go by the bezel of the television. You know what I mean? And how, if I like the way it look, you know what I mean? Not the specs inside the television. You know what I mean? And, um, and I'm not knocking you guys that buy your televisions from Walmart. But when you those sets here are very low end, like, you know, high input lag. And they're not as good as, like, they, in, in Walmart and Target and stuff, they sell, like, the 6,000 and the 7,000 series. Samsung start to sell it. They're, they're high end television at the eight thousand and up. So you go to Walmart, I think you're getting a, a ninety inch television. Oh, XTV was only four hundred dollars. Yeah, but it's not. You know, it's not that compared to the you know the upper stuff. And you're gonna buy a four K television. Here's the thing: if you're gonna buy a four K television, you have to. I believe was it a ten bit color panel you need. But if you don't have that, you're not gonna. The Xbox One is not gonna upscale the four K, and you're not gonna be able to play game in four K. And no, it's not. Have... It's not. It's not really. The bit depth doesn't have nothing to do with the the, the no. resolution, but the no, bit listen, depth has to well, do with the HDR, though. No, but no, no, no. On my older, I have an older set here, uh, and I put the Xbox One in this set here. I, uh, actually, it's not even the oldest. I'm lying. It's a cheaper set that I got from um from Walmart. You know, what I mean, I was just using it as a monitor. And that, uh, and, and I put the Xbox One. I know I put the Xbox One S. It says, you know, you get uh, your television is able to 4K. You do the, and you know, you, after you do the update, it, it goes over to 4K. Uh, yeah. But then once you run the advanced test, all it's going to have is 4K. Everything is red, 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 red. And it says there is it, it, is it a 4K TV though? Yeah, it's a 4K. So the uh, problem but, the problem is is that it has HDMI 1.4, so it can't decode any of that stuff. That's why. Yeah, but no, but it says no. I'm not wait, hold on. I, I, I was going to do a video on this. I took a picture. I asked not ask you what the hell that meant, but um, it says that it doesn't have a 10-bit color, 10-bit color or something like that. Yeah, 10-bit or 8-bit. Whatever. Yeah, anyway. because, because of the one point, the HDMI 1.4 port, it can't, it, it can't send the EDID information, so it's it's not hitting any check marks, so it, it all becomes negative. But if you had an HDMI 2.0 port, it would do it because – most 8-bit panels, of course you want a 10-bit panel because you're going to get more colors with that. You're going to get better HDRs. But so, yeah, good, it, it, this is what it said. It said uh, that uh, your TV sort of doesn't support 4K at 10, but at 60 hertz, it, you know what I mean? It's not a 10 yeah, that's, that's, because, that's because of the one point. That's because of the, no, that's not, that's not dependent on the bits. That's because of the 1.4 HDMI port. That's, that's the handicap for it. So the the HDMI 2.0 cannot communicate with that TV. That's why. Oh. Well, I guess. Well, okay. Well, whatever the case may be. So anyway, let's get down to the the, the nitty gritty. We've been talking for about a half hour. We ain't talking about something. So anyway, uh, uh, we're gonna start this video over. So there was a <laughs> blog a site uh, that came out, and they were saying that um, uh, if you didn't know or if you didn't see AMD, uh, they released some benchmarks that showed the test of them running Zen or using Zen. Now, so it's heavily not it hasn't been confirmed, but it's been heavily rumored that Microsoft is using AMD's next technology, you know, next, next gen technology, whatever you want to call it, for the, the to power the Scorpio. Uh, because if you listen to what Phil said, that they could have did the same thing that Sony did this this year, 
um, but the technology, the chips they wouldn't they wanted to use, uh, wouldn't be available until next year. And like you said, you know, what else my AMD working on? You got Zen, you got Vega, but anyway, and the Zen, if you look at it, what it's what it basically is to be able to give uh, affordable 4K gaming. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, not to get too technical, you know, ray cheap, not you know, not in cheap and as product, but you know, for the consumer. Uh, so this 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 uh, blogger or whatever. Uh, said that um, AMD or something wasn't going to be ready for 2018, and that's how they got people. But AMD, we could have said to them they they're working uh, side by side or hand by hand with um, uh, with Sony to um, Sony and Sony and Microsoft for you know I mean the Zen technology. So that's when the articles came out that oh no PS4 is going to be out PS5 I'm sorry is going to be out in 2018. That's where all those rumors start flying around. So anyway, you know you're the tech guy. You know, first of all, people don't know. To explain to them the benefits of Zen and what's what's you know what what is used for, how many cores and so well, well, Zen has uh, it starts off with four cores and uh, two two threads for each core. It's four um, cores. Only four threads. Yeah. Eight and nine or three with six. No, they, they they have they have they have a four core and they have an eight core. They, okay. they have they have they have two different ones, right? There's like different tiers, mm -hmm. and. And it's basically going to compete with the i5s and the i7s. And on the preliminary benchmark that they released so far, mm -hmm. it's be it's beating it. Oh wow! And then some some people say, "Oh, you can't trust their benchmarks." This when when they were doing this, this was more for like uh, the the shareholders. It was like a private type of thing. It wasn't like specifically for the public per se. So uh, on something like that, uh, they're they're not going to lie on something like that. So. I'm going to take them for their word that it's either on par with the i7s or, as they say, slightly beating it. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, do you think that Microsoft will go with Zen or will it be a custom CPU, something that they're, you know, they're just using? It may not be Zen. Like, what are your thoughts on that? It's definitely going to be Zen because um, AMD is moving away from these crappier uh, CPUs and they want they want to go after the um, – Okay. The, uh, the the enthusiast market they want uh to -huh. they want to go after Intel's market share. Okay. So for Microsoft, I I take Phil is a very straight up type of person. He doesn't like cussing. He doesn't like lying. He doesn't like dishonest stuff. You know, he's very complimentary to the the competition. So I take this man at, for what he says. I, I I take it at face value. Now he specifically said that we could have came out with a system this year. Yes. Yes. But we didn't want to have any compromises so we waited till next year when the technology will be available for the 4k 60 frames per second console that we want to make okay all right so now we have polaris the polaris line is out they released all of their polaris gpus yeah, the ps4 is using and ps4 pro is using polaris now yes it's using polaris mm -hmm. so 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 they they released the whole polaris line so it's it's going to be vega for sure now Zen, they, they just did it when they did the demo. They, I, I can't remember what game they were running in 4K, it's but Zen, I think it was yeah, Battlefield. yeah, I think it was Battlefield, okay. and the, they were using the Zen CPU to push it. Now, you know, when you have a very beefy GPU, you need a CPU that can feed keep it. up with it yeah. and feed mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So, for them to say that they want a 4K 60 frames per second, no compromise console. There's no way in hell they're gonna go put one of those old Jaguar cores into it. It just but it just makes you wanna use Puma. Yeah, it just it just it just it just it just doesn't make sense because they're pushing 4K. You need a, a, a like an i5 an i7 equivalent to push 4K type of graphics on a GPU. Mm -hmm. it's, there's just no if ads about it. And then uh, related to this guy's blog post where he's saying, oh, the car, AMD says that they're not doing any type of uh, Vega. Um, Zen uh, socks until 2018. This is most likely because um, Microsoft signed a deal with AMD that not that nobody else could come out with it until 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, well, so that's what you think it may be. You think that's may that's what it may be then. I think it's that's where it's coming from. And then, and then to further, he goes, oh, AMD is saying that they're working with Sony on the, the PS5 with the Zen. I, I wouldn't doubt that to be true because if we go by the cycles, as soon as they release uh, a console, they mm -hmm. go to work on the next one, on the next iteration. He so already I, said that, that he was, they were going with yeah, I'd, I'd have I'd have no doubt that they're in talks with AMD to see what Zen's going to bring to the next system. But this is going to be like three, four years off. 
They got to do the R&D on it. They got to design the sock. They got to go through that whole procedure. It's not something that's going to come out next year, guys. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, now, like I said, we see um, Sony with the PS4 Pro. And, again, some of the games do look beautiful. Okay, I'm not, not, not going to sit I'm not gonna sit there and bash it. Like, some of the games do look nice. Uh, you know, but well, I just don't like the hypocrisy. You know, Sony's achieving 4K without doing names. Like, come on. Like if Microsoft can do, use their tech, it was a big deal. So you know, I mean, that's the only way you know, uh, that I'm, um, you know, voicing my concern of being so vocal about it. But what I found, what I say, what far as Sony, and I want to get your opinion on this. I haven't really talked to you about this in depth, but they're releasing the PS4 Pro, and people are saying that people are jumping up and down about this price point of four hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. So I'm here, oh, and you know, and I'm going to say this. The Wii U was the weakest, and the Wii U was the cheapest. And you see how that turned out for Nintendo. Also, they again, they're putting out this console that still can achieve 1080p lock 60 frames a second. You look at Tomb Raider, they tell you 1080p and an unlocked frame rate. You look at the thing, it's 42 frames, 44, 40 frames, 45. So again, they you know, and it's not like I said the GPU, the 36 CUs, but uh, it's it baffles my mind that they still stay with those same very very CPU. It's hard. They can just at least use Puma or something, not that jack. Yeah, you know, that's like a netbook CPU. It was horrible. Yeah, you know? that's 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 the problem. Uh, to that's the bottleneck that, again. Yeah, exactly. So like, although the GPU with the 4.2 teraflops yeah. should be more than capable. Of pushing 1080p 60 frames per second, but yes. once again they got this bottleneck with the with the weak CPU. Yes, they've upclocked the CPU, but it's still a weak CPU. Very weak, and and some people, it, I don't even have a problem with the same eight gigs of RAM. You know what I mean? I'm just, I, again, uh, I don't think there's I don't if they not I don't even think there's too many games on PC that that requirements that you have to have a you know seven gigs of RAM. Or we're talking about a console, you know, a, a closed environment. So that five and a half, that, you know, my, like so they started really, really start pushing up. That was five or five and a half gigs of RAM would be cool, you know what I mean? But again, I don't even have a problem with the RAM. Is that CPU like that? If you remember the documents that said they they was unsure if they were going to go with this CPU or a slightly beefier CPU. Yeah. I would rather than with, with the slightly beefier CPU, you know what I mean? Because you know it had been much better. Could you imagine? Again, you still got some games that are. Some engines, man. Let me reframe that. There are some engines that are CPU heavy. Like, uh, what's what's Ubisoft used for Assassin's Creed? Is it an Infinity engine? You know what I mean? Where the PS4 and the Xbox One, well, especially the PS4, struggle. You know, nine a 900p game, and, and it could even be a lock 30 frames a second. I just yeah. want to be clear. You, know, you got all these, these CUs, 30 CU. You go from 18 CU to 36 CU, so you're going to be pushing more on that end. But your anemic CPU. It's like pissing in the whale's mouth. Like uh, it's the same thing all over again. You know what I mean? Like, they really did they suffer this service with that yeah. CPU. I don't think uh, people and uh, you know really really understand that. You know what I mean? I think they're re I think they're resting on their laurels. I think I think they're you know they're they're they got a substantial lead so far. And and let's be honest, the last uh, few months, um, Microsoft has really cut into that lead in the states because I believe it's only like a. It's yeah. been like 800, 900,000, a million that separates them in the States, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and people say, oh, there's the rest of the world. Yeah, they're doing well in the rest of the world. But you know what? The bulk of their sales, gaming sales, are from North America, people. Yes. Not from Europe, but from North America. That yeah. is the market that really counts. Yeah, it, it is uh, at, at the end of the day. But um, again, I, I say that to say this. Um, I, I, not that I don't think I know, you know what I mean? I see a lot of people. No, not even. But, but this this summer, all this summer, or this spring, we started to hear about um, the, the Neo or the Pro, whatever you want to call it. And you know, when people were saying down, but well, 4K is irrelevant. I said, just give. Oh, oh, we know. I mean, no one plays in 4K. That's nothing. No one has a you know 4K television. Which again, like that's like come on, you're not gonna go. This this is 20. It's about to be 2017. Those TVs are very, very affordable. And I bought two the other day. You know, I got one. I, the dealer just hit me up. He said he's, 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 he just yeah. bought one, and he bought yeah, an Xbox yeah. One S. And yeah. like I said before, gamers, they push the technology forward. Gamers are going crazy over HDR. You should, HDR, HDR 4K TV fan. sales 
are going through the roof right now. But again, like I was saying, all oh, you know, they, they were saying, you know, just give me all oh, we all oh, we need is 1080p 60. That, that that beats 4K 30 any day of the week. Now here it is again. Sony can't even give you a 1080p 60. You know oh. what I mean? This is what you guys were jumping up about Horizon Zero Dawn and a, a PS4 exclusive. Your IP, whether it's high settings or ultra, we got the three modes or two modes. It's going to be upscale 4K 30 or 1080p 30. That's it. You know what I mean? So again, yeah. uh, it's crazy. It's as so, hell. Uh, I just finally said I found that very, very interesting. You know, if I was Sony, what I'd have did instead of just talking about, well, I guess they got to be, I guess maybe the the, the casuals will know. Uh, and again, I I think it's silly for console gamers to be about resolution, this, that, and the other. But this is something that's been going on this whole generation. Uh, but it's, but look, you look at Digital Foundry. You see when he was talking about the the Sony event. You know that's you know this still looks great. But they're using this checkerboard technique, you know, upscaling. But let's be clear, there's a bigger leap from an uh, upscale leap from 1080p to upscale 4K than from 900p to 8 uh, 1080p. You know, I mean, they made a big a big you know fuss over 900p to 1080p. You understand what I'm saying? But here it is, they're doing the upscale from 1080p to 4K or whatever you want to call it. You know, I and it, and they, and again, they're trying to downplay it like it's that no, it's no big deal. Like, come on, man. Like, I I think right there that is, that is some sheer hypocrisy. And if I've seen yeah. it before, well, especially with digital film, you're supposed to be, you know how they was. Well, you know what? The P, I mean, you're the yes to the PS4 because they're more blades of grass. And you, you're like, come on, we dealt with this stuff for, for, for three years, man. Now that yeah. Sony, uh, you know, doesn't have the upper hands in terms of um, raw power. And you know what? And now, you know what? And I hope this, not hope, I, I hope. This will be better for Sony and our fans by them not having the more powerful console that they can't so much rely on having the better version of the multiplex because that's gone. Maybe they can start doubling down some exclusives. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the only thing that's kept them afloat is uh, that they've had the better multiplex because they don't got no exclusives. Again, their exclusives have been delayed till December. The last the last Guardian, first uh, Gran Turismo is pushed to 2017. You know, and then now the only exclusive that they really had left, their AAA exclusive, if you want to call that one, mm -hmm. is, is is delayed to December, and maybe that'll even get pushed back even furthermore. Like, come on. Yeah, uh, a hey, 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 panda. I got the GS eighty five hundred too. Uh, this guy here put the PS Pro uh, shits all over the Xbox S. The Xbox, and listen, not really, because I'm gonna be honest with you, they both upscale the four K. And yeah, the Xbox One has a 4K Blu-ray player, but the Xbox, I'm sorry, the PS4 Pro competition is the Scorpio. You're gonna put those head up, you know what I mean? I don't know why people are trying to, you know, compare the the PS4 Pro to the Xbox One. That's like, like, come on, that's not, you know, that's not just like you want to see those same comparisons. Like I said, when the Xbox Scorpio comes out, are you feeling that name PS4 Pro? Has it grown on you? No, I don't like that name. I think I think they should have named it PS4 4K or oh, Fox K. Oh, no, no, <laughs> they can just put PS4 K. That's it. Yeah, They're, yeah, it, yeah. They, they, a, they, the, the PS4 Pro name is retarded. I, I don't yeah, like I, I don't like that pro name at all. You know I, mean? I, I can I can tell as as a company, I, I don't know, like. I, I watch like the, the markets and everything. Sony is a company, they're not doing so great. The only thing that's keeping them afloat is is the PS4, is their is their gaming division. Mm -hmm. Their their TV division, like they still sell TVs, but they're nowhere near the top. The the competition uh -huh. destroys them. So they're they're resting everything you know, on the Sony PS4. got their new set, but it's kinda expensive. They it's got, it's kind of expensive and it's a good set. Expensive. I think it's a great set, but that set is not going to take over the market, you know? That, no, it's $6,000 for yeah. the 60 Yeah, it's, it's better, not going to happen. Uh, I can tell by how, how the lack of oversight to not put a 4K Blu-ray player oh, in oh, their oh, Xbox Oh, I ain't talking One. to you. I, I, got the, I got the news why they didn't do it. I got, the, I got some more exclusive documents here. I haven't spoken to you. Um, did, why did they do it? Okay, this, was, this is what happened. Um... um let me go to the damn, damn, the damn letter I have here. What happened was, you remember we started hearing the rumors of Sony were going to push back, um, of the well, not not they, but there was rumor internally that Sony may push back the PS4 Pro uh, to compete with the Xbox Scorpios, whatever. That never was the case. Like I was telling you guys from the rip, you have two years of R&D at least 
to make sure the console doesn't overheat. You won't have your own Red Ranger dev. And it takes about two years. And for them, like you can't just up the specs and to whatever. You know, I mean, they didn't pay for these chips. These these 34 CUs, whatever's going inside the box. Sony has wrote the check the AMD. They can't go back. See, you know what, dog? No, no, no. Put them back in. So we don't want them. We was what we was on the next show. Business nope. doesn't go like that. But what happened was um because they all use this more or less one or two companies that is Taiwanese company that provides the SC uh the SOC chips uh for their Blu-ray player. And I have here an internal document. And in this document in um I'm not gonna tell you the company, just know like well, give me the top three for us electronics. You got Samsung, Sony, LG, LG, give me the Panasonic, or, or Vizio, Vizio, Philips is one of those Philips. right there. I just think, yeah, one of those right there. So anyway, it says here, uh, uh, this was an internal document, internal internal email that was sent with Microsoft Exchange. It looks like the old school. Hold on, let me go here. Let me bring it. Where you at? It says here, and this is why it doesn't have a, a, P, a 4K player. It says, dear such and such, um, such and such. HQ headquarters informed that Sony will show 4K UHD BDP and IFA and plan to release this year. Um, then this is a bunch of Japanese. I hate to train you with the trend. Which they did. I, I did see that. They did release. Uh, they're going to release a standalone player. They did show it last month. Yeah, but this is the reason why they didn't release it. Said, uh, the Sony plans the production in December based on the CPU's production uh, requirement, now, which told, told Internet so maybe late uh, to January, February. Um, they were having problems with the SOC chip. So, so anyway, there's standalone players coming out in the first quarter between January and March, and it'd be out. Uh, but that was the reason why they were going to lay, delay it and was to include the 4K player because the chips or whatever they need was not available. I'm looking at here. So it says here, uh, if you get any information, please share it to us. We still have to move our inventory quickly. A said we had to jump, we had to get the job. And thanks, best regard, such and such. And this is here, another because uh, just like we over here. If a company's going to file something, they had to go to the IFC, the IFCC or whatever. Same right. thing in Japan. Same thing in Japan, and they had to go through them. So <clears throat> this one company, same area, we got to get a jump on Sony with our 4K Blu-ray player. Well, you know that, I, mean? I don't know. I don't know what's what. I, I don't know. I guess because I guess because they do make their own chips for certain. And stuff like this, they get it marketed out for like. Well, the yeah, they, they don't make them. They go to their damn Foxconn and all of them. They they, they, own, they, they own the they own the technology. So I guess there's something that they wanted because it makes no sense to me because the Xbox One S has it. So there's no excuse so, but, for them not to have it, really. Because well, it's available. Yeah, again, if, AMD, AMD the, makes the Xbox One S as well. That is true. Either like I said, the day I don't know if they ran out of money. Uh, I I don't know. So but the, I, the, I think the, I, I I think they're I think they're I think that document's. True, but I think I think they're no, lying uh, about what it. What I do is I show, but this don't say anything. I, after the shows, I I show you to you. It's okay. it's 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 from a major company, I, and they this cut. They, they well, basically Samsung, LG, Microsoft. They all use those same Taiwanese companies that make their chips. You know what I mean? They got you know contracts with all of them, and I don't know what the issue was, but you know they had an issue with the the chips. And they weren't going to be ready by the time the console were launching. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. remember what you remember when you know the PS3 got pushed back because they was having trouble with the Blu-ray, and you know, I don't know, I don't know what the problem was, but you know, I mean, that was one of the reasons that it got pushed back. They wanted this thing to launch with the you know 3D, uh, you know, the Blu-ray drive or whatever the case may be. But well, it was, but they should have so, they should have waited regardless because this is this is a this is a big blunder. They're 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 yeah. had, they're handing Microsoft a segment of the market. Because there's a lot of people that will go out there and just grab the $300 Xbox One S so they, they can play their uh, 4K Blu-rays and, of course, play the exclusives that they didn't. I, I'm reading so many threads on uh, these other pro uh, Sony forums, and these guys are saying, you know what, man, I'm just going to grab it for $300, and I'm finally going to get to play these exclusives that I miss because it's just $300, and I get the 4K Blu-ray player. And I have some other crazy – I see some other crazy comments, people plugging their – PS4s into yeah, yeah. their Xbox One S and getting the upscale from it, and then they said, "Look, I got best of both worlds. I got upscaling on my Xbox One yeah, for my PS4." Because yeah, some people think, like people were saying, that the PS just regular Slim doesn't have to have a 4K upscaler because my TV upscales. You want to explain to them what's the benefits of, of the console doing it? Besides? Okay, so the the difference is the uh, the algorithm. So like a, a a a TV upscales everything to 4K. A, any input that's get in there, if it's yes. if it's not a native 4K 
uh, input it, the TV will upscale it because that's the only way it can display it. However, when you have a console that is doing it, it's, it's, it does it at a higher level and it does it better than the TV because the console, they, um, they design it to do that. So mm -hmm. they're using different algorithms, they're using different techniques to get rid of the jaggies. And I could tell you for a fact that um, the Xbox One S upscales uh, content to 4K better than my TV does. Oh, but uh, yeah, I realize too. And so, but it also, just in layman terms, the console upscales the image first before it gives it to the television. So it's gonna look, you know, what I mean, it's gonna look much better. So by the time the TV gets the signals, it's really gonna be, you know, stretched out over 4K. But all, yeah, like, the, 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 the TV, the TV. Once at that point, the TV's not gonna upscale it because the TV's thinking that it's uh, a native well, 4K already, image. Already, already, yeah, already know 4K native feeling. Like yeah. it, it looks nice. Um, and like I said, you can definitely tell the difference. Like I said, I can't wait to get my hands on this HDR. But let me think I said before, I guess I'm not going to be here long today. Do you think Sony should have, you know, maybe charged 50 bucks more to put a beefier CPU in there? The least, least kind of future proof their console? Yes, yes, yes. This this tells me they, they really don't care about their fan base. They're just in it to get the money. And like I said, they're resting on their, their slight lead, right? Well, their slight lead in uh, North America. They're, they're, they're uh, relying on that and um, just going forward with it. Like, if you look at the design of the PS4 Slim and the uh, PS4 Pro, like, you could tell they didn't put a lot of work into the design of that. They're very mm -hmm. basic. The, 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 the Slim, I don't even know how to describe that. The, the, the Pro looks like a, like a hamburger. I heard someone say it looks like a cake. Like, it's, it's like ridiculous. Yeah, that's that, uh, that Slim. Uh, Sony, has been known, Sony has been known, one thing we can say about Sony, they've been known to put out good looking products. All yes, the products are nice and sleek looking. This look, this product looks very cheap. The materials look cheap once again. It's got like this, like, like it's like the console's not finished. Like they forgot to put another layer on the console to give yeah. it that shine or whatever. Around it, the edges. I don't know. You know, it is a very, a very ugly console. I'm speaking with probably Scorpio probably ugly too, but... It is a. Uh, I have faith in the Scorpio. The Surface team is designing the Scorpio. I have faith in that one. That's, I, I just that, that, the Surface team. I don't want no red rings of death. I don't want to just work. I don't care if it's the size of my car. I'm putting it on. A, I just want it to work. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. But um. I I can, I, can, I, can, I, can I address one thing here? Yeah, uh, yeah. Dude, dude, watch in the comment section said physical media is dead. Now I, I gotta, t I, I gotta tell you. First of all, when you have a 4K television you're getting uncompressed footage because it's at 4K. Yes. So w why would you want to use uh, streaming media that is compressed when you can get native uncompressed footage? It looks a lot better for starters. Much better. Sounds better uh, also. Streaming, the bit rate is much lower on streaming than you actually have on a dual or triple layer uh, uh, Blu-ray disc. Yeah, and it also like, sounds this, this, better. Yeah, like there's 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 no there's no competition. Also, too, that's right. The digital like uh, the the DTS X and uh, Dolby Atmos, like all, all the digital um, audio, you're not gonna get the proper digital audio through streaming as well. Hey, so, listen, you, like, you can't streaming. You don't you don't own streaming though. Streaming you do not own it. If yeah. if you, you can't get online, you can't watch that content. When you have a physical disc, you own that. Yeah, uh, but again, that's that's Sony because we don't have it. Our data shows us to my, you know, for you know, people are going to be streaming. Most people don't even stream in 1080p. You know, and they're not even able to stream in 10, uh, 1080p. Like, like, come on, Sony. Like, here it is. Your your prime example. I'm gonna tell you something about Sony. Your premier service, PS Now, that only streams in 720p. Okay, let's be let's be clear. Of this Sony's premier pro, uh, service right now. Uh, a PS now, they cloud stuff. It streams in 720p. Now I supposed to believe that they're gonna jump straight from 720p to give me uh, 4K streaming. Like, well, let's be let's be clear. It's like, like, come on. And to the other guy right here, a uh, dude botch the the Neo or the you know, the Pro, you're not gonna get 4K 30. Are you, are you serious? I I've seen anybody here 4K. What are you what are you gonna be playing? Um, soccer cars. There's you only can. two. Only two games have been confirmed: Elder Scrolls Online, and uh, the, the, the last Elder Scrolls Online has been confirmed. Forty native 4K, 30 frames per second. Okay. But that game, that game is no graphical graphic. Yeah, you're right now, you're 360. Yeah, you and, then the, and then the last, then the Last of Us remastered, which oh, is PS3 a PS3 game. game. Yeah. Okay. Not, not even a remake, a remaster. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's shame. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, that's like, and then, you know what? That's you no, know, and that, that's Sony for you. They're gonna slap that 4K stick on their box, and people gonna eat it up. Like, are you yeah. serious? You know, a 10 year game in 4K? Any yeah. game that's out now, this generation, or whatever the case, and even something you know, there's something that is graphically demanding. The, you're not gonna get a native 4K on the no. PS4. No, no. no. You know what I mean? You're not gonna need. You're not even gonna get a 1080p 60. You know what I mean? No, you get so, like soccer cars at that. You know? Yeah, soccer cars or uh, spades or or strip poker or whatever the hell. Uno, whatever, whatever you. But you're not gonna get no um, AAA multiplats. No. And, and once no, again, they're hurt by their CPU because I think I think the GPU at 4.2 teraflops. That's fine. Is, that's fine. Is enough to do 4K 30 high that's for sure? 970 or so. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But but that CPU, they just they just can't feed it. And, and this is this is a definite thing. I don't know why people are even bringing this up because we've already seen the internal documents, and everything from the internal documents turned out to be true. And in the internal documents, it says that they're going to upscale from 1440p upwards. They said they don't really want you to use 1440p. They want you to use it from 1800p because the higher the resolution, the better the upscale, and the better the closer it look to to 4K. Mm -hmm. But if this system was capable of doing most of the games 4k native 30 frames per second there'd be no need for them to do this no come on keep it real people yeah, yeah but yeah, but i guess again people will say well the scorpio's not going to do 4k six. and listen even if the scorpio even if the scorpio does 2k 20 frames they're going to run in games at a higher resolution and frame rate than their competitor the at PS4 Pro, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. We're not talking about Scorpio compared to PCs. We're talking between the Pro and the Scorpio. That's it. You know what I mean? they like forever trying to change the, the narrative and move the goalposts, man. You know, but like I guess with that being said, though, I will be picking up a PS4 Pro um, because um, I don't have a PlayStation 4 right now. I was kind of, I wish they would have patched or give me a, a, a Pro mode for the Street Fighter V. You know, I like I like Street Fighter. I, it sucks that the game sold the way it did. Or even that Mortal Kombat. I wish they give me a, a pro patch for that. I love Mortal Kombat. But I will pick Mortal Kombat up for the PS4. But uh, you look, you heard what Phil said. Are we get the hell out of here. Uh, Phil said that um, games right now are being, you know, with the files and stuff for Scorpio to run. You know, uh, to take advantage of the, the system hardware when it comes out. Um, it, it was it was it was last week he said that. You know what I mean? That the games right now that now it makes sense because you remember uh gears viking i forgot the guy's name rob ferguson she said that gears 4 was made with the scorpio in mind so again when he was making gears 4 and whatever they was already patching in that scorpio stuff you know what i mean so when that thing come out boo! so now we got battlefield one hdr you know what i mean so i was like damn do i get this on the ps4 pro you know what i mean but you know what i mean or you know, but I, I don't because I am going to get some multi plats but you know what I mean? I just prefer the Microsoft ecosystem because those games are going to uh, go back and do the same thing for the uh, the Xbox Scorpio. I hope companies don't try to charge. Was that true? When they posted that thing and people were like, yo, you, you bugging. How are you going to charge someone for a patch to play the game in a higher? Did you read that? Yeah, I, I did. I did read it. I actually reported on that initially because they did come out and say that. Yeah. And I, I, I think what Talk happened is. I think it was Sony that damage controlled that and probably brought that back because they saw, whoa, this is this is gonna this is gonna cause a big thing. And I, I read something else from support. Some guy asked support, and support was saying, yeah, they're gonna charge twenty dollars for. Um, I believe it was um, Uncharted. No, no, it wasn't the, Uncharted. It was um, Infamous Second Son. Yeah, they're gonna charge you nineteen bucks to get. 60 frames per second, 1080p mode, and 4K 30 frames per second mode, or something like that. Yeah. That's that's uh, that's that's cheap. And, you know, I, I brought that up in a, uh, a BGST a while ago. I said, you know what? If Microsoft was smart, they'd go back and patch Rise, Sunset Overdrive. You know what I mean? Like they should go back and put some HDRs on 4K in them. You know what I mean? And charge like five bucks and sell like hotcakes. You know what I mean? I would love to see Rise with HDR. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That will look sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, speaking of HDR, uh, I got to touch on this because I haven't talked to you about this either. Uh -huh. How uh, Sony? Uh, so basically, the update dropped today. The uh, four point update dropped. Yeah, talk about that. Explain that to the people. Yeah. So so basically, the uh, vanilla PS4 is 
now currently have HDR support. It's there in the settings where you can toggle the HDR on or off. Uh -huh. But the thing that I want to know is, uh, I believe Sony said that it's going to be it's not going to be Dolby Vision HDR. They're going to be offering HDR10. I, I want to know how uh, how they, are they, they going to? They came out their mouth and said HDR10. Yeah, they they there was some yeah they said it's, it. Someone asked them. I don't know if it was like Twitter or like. One of those things, and I, I saw it. Own, their own version of ACR, like whatever. So, you want to so how, 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 how I, I came to the conclusion: How are they doing it at uh, with HDMI one point four? Uh, uh, the only thing that I can think of is perhaps Netflix is going to make some type of hybrid app for them and stream ten eighty p HDR because they can do it. Because if you go onto the Netflix site, it tells you that if you don't have the correct speed. That it will, it'll still give you HDR, but it will lower the resolution to 1080p. Oh. Uh, so, so they might, they might be, it might not be offering HDR gaming. It yeah. might, be, it might be offering uh, movies in 1080p. HDR and some type of hybrid application because it's not, it's not doing the um, 4K HDR. So maybe uh, Netflix will be. Lapse on the HDCP 2.2 compliance, right? Maybe they'll uh -huh. wave that flag and allow. It. That's the only thing that I can think of because it has an HDMI 1.4 port. It does not have the bandwidth to 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 do 4K HDR. Yeah, and yeah. nor did they nor did they say it's going to offer 4K HDR. They just said HDR. Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 no. It's, it's 1080p HDR. It's not 4K. They're gonna remaster and stuff in 1080p or whatever they're gonna do is that is not 4K HDR. So because because they have an HDMI 1.4 port yes. and they're not they're not using the 4K yes. resolution, perhaps yes. that they do have the bandwidth to do a 1080p HDR. But once again, I don't understand this because the only HDR compatible TVs are 4K televisions. So yes. why why the hell do you want to watch 1080p HDR on your 4K television? Hey, man, the, 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 the built the built-in apps that the, the TVs have the built-in Amazon the built-in Netflix apps that do 4k HDR why the hell would you use your ps4 to do 1080p HDR when your damn TV alone by itself with the built-in apps can do 4k HDR I I, just, I don't understand that I think I think it's just them throwing this marketing crap out there uh -huh. to try to throw off the Sony people saying oh we're gonna get HDR on our TVs and try to take sales away from the Xbox one s when the truth of the matter is, is that you're not going to be getting any type of 4K HDR. At the best, you're going to get a 1080p HDR stream on your damn 4K TV. Makes no sense. Yeah, it, it doesn't. But you know, people, I guess, use it as you know, to, to, to fuel their their own personal agendas. Uh, also, too, I see there that uh, what's that inside or below is 900p on the PS4, 1080p on the Xbox One. <laughs> <laughs> what was that inside? What was that? The, the, the Xbox exclusive little indie game that came out a little while ago. People were, got high ratings. So anyway, it was 1080p on the Xbox One. But anyway, that game right there is going to be 900p on the PS4, and some people were already uh, flipping the script about that. But uh, so you're getting your Pro Day One. You're on. You all aboard? Yeah, my excuse is I'm a YouTuber. I need to get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what games are you going to get for it? Um. Honest to tell you, I've had been playing so many games, and like I haven't finished Uncharted, and I, I was actually gonna pick it up this week and just finish it off, and I think I'm gonna hold off and finish off the Uncharted so I can play it on the PS4 Pro uh -huh. in the uh, in that mode. So uh -huh. I, I I'm I'm probably gonna just I don't know I, I they don't really have anything that I want, so I'm probably just gonna go back and play the games that I have. Like Last of Us is gonna get a PS4 Pro HDR mode. Um, Infamous uh, uh, Second Son is going to get it. I'm, I'm going to assume that uh, Last Light's going to get it. So I'll probably just go back and play those games. But over this holiday season, they don't really have anything that interests me. And my multiplats, I won't. Well, I don't know. The, the multiplats, maybe I might get one multiplat on it just to test it out. But I know the sports games I won't be getting on the PS4. I like my sports games on Xbox. Yeah, with that controller, the same thing. Uh, but the yeah, controller but... and the online community, people talk yeah, like. Too. PS4, That's, those those guys, they don't talk, man. They 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 are they're too busy counting them peas. And, and <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, thank you guys for rocking out with us. Um, I should have my television tomorrow. I hope so. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, I'm not, I'm not at the hospital with my grandmother or anything uh, tomorrow. 
Um, I don't know. What, what do you think? I should keep the nine thousand and send back eighty five hundred. We'll keep. Them um. Going. Well, I. Oh, yeah. I pulled it up for you in the meantime while we were doing this, uh -huh. and um. Apparently, uh -huh. from the units that they got uh, ratings, uh -huh. the uh, eighty five hundred gets brighter. I know. That's what I, I read. Which is uh, that, really weird, but that's why you remember that was a knock against the set. They say, you know what the hell Samsung is trying to prove? Because literally from the eight thousand all the way up to what the ninety five or whatever, they're the same like set, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Has, they, they both have. They're both rated for the same dimming. They're both rated. Uh, the nine thousand is rated a little bit better gray uniformity, but mm -hmm. that that's not really per model. That varies set to set. Uh, -huh. uh the, the the viewing angles are exactly the same on it. Let me see the color space. Uh da, 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 da. color space. Seventy four, seventy four. Well, yeah, I got a, a sweet. So yeah. the, the, the nine thousand has slightly it has four looks like it has four four to two percent better color. So it has slightly uh, better uh, color. Yeah, you know what? But like I said, I just I like the the eighty five hundred the, the way it look. I right. love it, love it, man. You know, I like it better than like I said the, the nine thousand. Um, if my son wasn't screwing up, man, I would give one to him. But he ain't get nothing. I got that joke on knockoff, man. Um, uh, yeah, I would stick. But, I would stick. I would stick with the eighty five hundred because you know what I may do. I may do this. I may take the because I have a J, uh, JS. Uh, which one, uh, upstairs the curve upstairs right. the last year model. Um, I may take that and put the nine thousand upstairs, or put the eighty five upstairs, and take that set there and put that on. I don't know because I I don't have. Where do you money. do most of your watching? What room? Where you see me at my game room. That's my spot. Yeah. Nah, man, you got you you gotta you gotta put the eighty five hundred there because it's. With HDR, that TV is. I, I've done a lot of tests on that TV already. Yeah. That TV is so bright, man! Unbelievably bright and crisp. Uh, the 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 JS nine thousand that you have, it's a it's a great TV. It has. Well, I was gonna put it. I was gonna put it on my um, you know, maybe use it as a um, a monitor for PC or something. I'm gonna start using my computer and and um, buy me a um, a decent cam, and you know, step up my 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 quality. And uh, get me a better mic. So I was gonna start doing that, but um, uh, that's a big ass TV to put on my desk. I can't. Well, do that. I I, 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 use, I I use my TV. I have a I have a 4K Samsung HDR TV as well. Bro, I just and put, I, I, I use it as an HDR yeah, monitor. Yeah. Fantastic. Listen, I I when I I've been I've been it's been here. Yeah, I moved. I bought this house last year. Been literally last year when I moved into this house. This was the only uh set uh the, this one this one here and the one in the bedroom that I bought here. And I bought three other additional televisions. You know, what I mean, bought the one in the front room, bought the one in my daughter room, and bought Maya a new set. You know, what I mean, everybody got new sets and televisions. Like every year, I'm buying TVs. You know, what I mean, so like I'm just like, uh, if it wasn't for and listen, the tip, the TVs upstairs, actually, the TV in the living room and the TV in my bedroom, uh, they do the HDR. You know, what I mean, I just right. don't have enough room here for a 65. Like, I got, I don't like it's from here to here. I don't have enough room. I'm already jammed in here you know what i mean i don't have enough room it's not enough space because my desk is here and, and the, the one thing that i like about samsung as well with their tvs mm -hmm. they support their tvs long after they're out in the market i have i have the the top plasma that they have it what's it the f8500 yeah i'm still getting updates for that tv my my 4k tv is about two years old mm -hmm. and i'm still getting updates for that there's an update sitting there right now for me I'm yeah. still getting updates for that TV. They they really support their products years after because they don't have to do that. After two years, they don't have to continue to improve the quality of the TV, but they do. And these updates, they're substantial, like adding more color, adding better dimming, adding lower input lag. They're always improving. I, I got to give it to them on that. All right. Well, like I said, I mean, the video I did I do tomorrow, you know, Tom, and I guess somebody to hold the camera. I don't know why people be so big into in unboxings, unboxes and stuff. You know, I ain't never leave my thing, but it, either I put it up on the stand and let you guys see it in the background, check a video of it, or if I can get my somebody, my daughter, somebody hold the camera while I unbox it and take the set out or whatever. But anyway, um, uh, thank you guys for rocking out with me, man. Uh, rocking out with me and my boy Dean, the tech guy. 
Uh, so maybe, like I said, we get together right early. I don't know if it was good. We can give you a beast fire tomorrow. I want to get get in contact with Dealer and, you know, of course, T Sweaty Balls Reaper. But thank you guys for rocking out with us, man. As always, man. It's been real, man. We got, I got, I got, I love this sound effect, right? Everybody that stole my drum roll my, and my, uh, my round of applause. Hey, people have been listening to you. No ideas are rich or nothing new under the sun, man. I'm telling you, man, I don't get my problem around this community, man. I got everybody <laughs> saying weirdo. I got everybody saying pony. Now, listen, this is my, that's mine. Leave it alone. That's it. I want my using my sound effect, man. But we out of here, man. Bang, bang. Peace.